all right guys you and here with another video and in this video i wanted to talk about basically the future of bodybuilding so i was thinking 2019 is probably gonna be very similar to 1998 although in 1998 we had no title holder we had no champion because dorian retired the year before today though we do have a champion we do have a title holder and yeah that's sean roden but he's not well established Many people are doubting him as a champion, should have he won. If you look at everything, if you look at conditioning, completeness and all that stuff, you can agree that he deserved to win it, sure. But he is, he's a good Mr. Olympia, he's a fine Mr. Olympia, but he's not an impressive Mr. Olympia. He's not one of the best, he's probably one of the worst. The only reason he won the Mr. Olympia was because everybody else was completely off. It was probably one of the worst Mr. Olympias ever. And for that reason, anybody can take his title. Sean was in top 5 in some competitions. I think in Kuwait Pro he was like 4th place or something like that. He was beaten by William Bonac, by Dexter Jackson, by Big Grammy and by Rolly Winkler in the past 2 years. You also have Brandon Curry, whose breakthrough year is 2019, where he showed up looking amazing, beating both William Bonac, Rolly Winkler and a couple of other guys. So he's a huge threat as well. So who knows what can we expect of Sean in the next year or in the next coming years. Also, he's a very old guy. He's 43 or something like that, 44 maybe. He's not a young guy. His career is ending. And it's possible that Rolly is going to take it this year. It's possible that Bona can take it, Rami as well. But I think we're gonna see something new. We're gonna see something that happened in 1998 when Ronnie Coleman won and nobody expected him to win. Nobody thought that he would be in top 5, top 3. He was actually in ninth place the year before. And he came and he destroyed everybody. So if I had to choose somebody from the current competitors to do something like this like Ronnie did, that would be Nathan Diash. He has everything, he has the complete build, he has legs, he has back, he has chest, he has arms, he has calves, he has conditioning, he has pretty much everything, the structure is there, the symmetry is there, basically no flaws in his physique, the only thing that he could improve would be maybe back thickness, and I would maybe say hamstring thickness, maybe overall thickness to his physique, but that's pretty much it, if he nails conditioning, and he usually does that, and of course, if he gets a little bit bigger, if he improves a couple of things, he can win it. He can win it and he can be the next Mr. Olympian for who knows how many years. He really does have the potential to do so and it would be very interesting. We need something fresh, we need something to make us excited again. Because if Rowley wins, mm, he doesn't have complete physique. No lower back, no lower lats, no glutes, bone neck, horrible structure, too narrow shoulders, too big of a waist. Uh, Sean Roden, weak triceps, pretty weak arms overall, back, nothing special with it, pretty shallow, and that's pretty much it, not big of a guy. Of course, there is also Brandon Cure with an amazing weed taper, but as you guys know, his legs are his biggest weakness, and it's very obvious in most poses, it's very obvious, and so I wouldn't like to have a Mr. Olympia who is not complete. And Big Remy, Big Remy is great, probably the biggest potential, and I would like to see him win the most probably after Nathan Diasha, but his conditioning is always off, he's always watery or fat or whatever. You don't see that crazy separations, the dryness, the hardness. And these are your top guys. These are guys in the mix who are probably expected to win. Well, some of them, you know, either Remy, Sean, Bonac, Rolly, Remy, Brandon, and Sean. And if any one of these guys won in 2019 with the shape that they brought, you know, in the years before, it wouldn't be the best thing that happened to bodybuilding. So if Nathan won, that would be very interesting and I would love to see that. And it's fairly possible. It's fairly possible. So tell me what you think about it in the comment section below, guys. And thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, like it. And uh, if you want to see more, subscribe. All the best. Bye-bye.